Hey everyone, sorry we missed last week, but we are back this week with Foster's Folklore Friday. Now this week we are talking about the changing of seasons and why the Greeks believe that we have summer, winter, and spring. One day, the goddess of love, Aphrodite, was bored and she longed for a challenge in the ways of matchmaking. As she looked upon the world, she took stock of those who would be the hardest to match with someone else. While all the candidates in the world looked difficult, Aphrodite decided to work on Hades, as her nature forced her to butt into others' lives and create romance, and he would ultimately be the most challenging individual to have someone love him back. He was, after all, the lord of the underworld. So, she concocted a plan. She would send her son, Eros, to fly down into the underworld and strike Hades with one of his magic arrows. Now, these arrows would ultimately make him fall in love with somebody upon first sight. We're going to be thinking about our modern-day Cupid. So, Eros flew over the river Styx, past the snapping jaws of Cerberus, the giant three-headed dog, and into the dark bowels of the underworld where he found Hades, lord of the underworld, counting away in his study and taking note of the status of the afterlife. With great care and aim, Eros let one magical arrow fly and struck Hades right through his heart. While this was happening, however, Persephone, daughter of Demeter and the goddess of spring, was playing in a meadow above the area with her nymph friends. Now, she found a flower, a Narcissus flower, and she loved it so much that she began to pull on it. She pulled and pulled and pulled with all of her might until she pulled the flower from its resting spot, but this created a hole, and it went down to the underworld, and Hades looked up, and that's when he saw Persephone. Now, not knowing how to handle his newfound feelings of love from the magical arrow that just pierced his heart, Hades opened the hole slightly more, and Persephone fell right into the underworld. And the hole then kind of closed right back up. Hades had not been thinking when he'd done this. And now there was no way for her to immediately leave the underworld. So Hades, not wanting to be a bad host and ultimately wanting to seduce Persephone because he was now in love with her, offered her delicacies from all over the world. The one thing that seemed to attract Persephone's attention the most, though, were the pomegranate seeds that he had offered her. Still scared of what might happen, though, Persephone cautiously ate the seeds, so she only ate four in total. However, Persephone's mother, Demeter, heard about what happened, that her daughter was abducted into the underworld, and she went straight to Zeus, the king of the gods, and demanded that he make Hades return her daughter to her. Now, Zeus did not want any trouble, and so he said, let's go down and talk to Hades, and the two went together to the underworld, and Hades greeted them in, and Demeter went berserk. She started yelling and screaming, telling him to give her back her daughter, and Hades and Demeter got into a heated argument as to what would happen to Persephone. Hades explained that he loved her. Demeter yelled at her, you're the lord of the underworld, you know nothing of love. The three argued for days between them, until finally an accord was met. And that accord essentially was that Persephone would spend time in both realms. And this is because Persephone at that point had become smitten with Hades and his passion. The agreed upon time actually be, was based on how many of the pomegranate seeds the young goddess had eaten earlier. So Persephone would now travel back to the world of the living for eight months out of the year, thus giving us spring and summer, and return for four four months back to the underworld, and during this time Demeter would become so sad that spring and summer would leave and winter would take hold, embodying her icy emotions. Now the ancient Greeks needed a way to explain the changing of the seasons, so they created the tale of Persephone and Hades, a love story gone awry in which gods and goddesses are forced into situations that they did not want to be in to explain the inevitable changing of seasons. Now, thank you all so much for listening to this. I know this is a shorter one, but as per usual, 
Let me know what you guys want to hear in the future. If you've got any heroes or legends that you want to hear about, leave them in the comment section below. If you like what's going on, make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe. There's supposed to be a bell. I don't know anything about a bell. I'm still pretty new at this, but if there is a bell, let me know down below so I can get better at it. And I will ultimately see you guys on our next Legendary Friday adventure. Have a good one.